This is the first of a set of two videos covering migration of data from WebGUI 7.4 with TIP to WebGUI 8.1 with Dash. I'll post the link to the import video below. The main thing to consider before you run your export is that uh, you should make sure WebGUI 7.4 is on a recent fix pack. I would suggest fix pack 6 or fix pack 7 and TIP 2.2 should also have a recent fix pack. I would suggest fix pack 13 or later. Here is a list of items that can and can't be migrated. Moving on to the export steps. As a first step, I would strongly recommend that you use the opportunity now to ensure that any files in your 7.4 installation which are no longer needed are removed before you export. Look under all the directories under WebGUI home slash etc. I also suggest you look under all of the directories under omnibuswebgui.war. Uh, focus on the functionality that you know that you heavily use. Uh, WebGUI etc resources is a common one. And the reason for this is mainly to avoid having a very large uh, export data set which can then actually cause problems uh, with the import, even causing timeouts we've seen in the past. So this is a, a wise thing to do before you start. So ensure that your source 7.4 server is running and that you are logged in as the user who administers TIP. Move to the WebGUI integration plugins directory where the configuration files are for the export and edit the file omnibus webgui tip clone.properties and comment out the ESS server component and save the file. The ESS server component is only used in 7.4 if at all. If the default installation location is something other than the standard opt IBM Tivoli Netcool Omnibus Web GUI, then you should edit the Omnibus Web GUI clone settings.properties file, which is in the same directory, and insert a product.home property underneath tip.cell name with the correct pathway to your Web GUI home. You can run the export in debug by setting finest logging in tip home profiles tip profile etc logging dot properties and here the uh, property java dot util dot logging dot file handler dot level is the property that you need to set. You're now ready to run your export command. I've listed here commands for Unix and for Windows standard commands. Uh, note that um, tip admin and tip pass is to be substituted with your tip admin user and the password for that user. If the export has worked successfully, you should see each of the export plugins report a uh, message. And finally, you should see a report of successful command completion and information about where the data.zip file has been exported to. If you also want to migrate your user roles, you can do that by adding the argument dash dash roles all to your export command. Once you've completed your export, confirm that the data.zip file has been written to tip home profiles, tip profile output. And you can also check the logging for your export in the tipcli.log. One other note, TCR does not support the tipcli.sh export and import commands. So if you're running TCI with tip, you may get an error like this. You can exclude TCR from the export by running the command dash dash with dash dash exclude plugins, TCR export plugin. 
Thank you for watching this video from the IVM Academies. We really appreciate your feedback, so please feel free to use the comments box below. If you enjoyed this video, we would love you to check the thumbs up button. We have added several helpful links to the comments box, which will take you straight to our blogs and other videos. Thanks again for watching.